Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're gonna review the Nespresso Virtual Line and all of the different refillable pot options. We're about to take the coffee experience to a whole nother level. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, Two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, that way every single time we talk about coffee, you'll be alerted to it. So for Christmas, I got Rachel the Nespresso coffee machine. Thank you. Now this is the Nespresso Virtual Line Deluxe. This is the Plus, ver plus Deluxe version. They actually have several different models out there, made by several different manufacturers. Uh, they also have another line called the Next Line. Uh, which is a little bit different, but it does use the same pods. We're going to really be talking more about the Plus Deluxe line because uh, some of these other options we hear won't work on the next line itself. Well, and we still use our regular coffee machine, okay? This is the sidecar to my coffee experience. Let's not get crazy. Rachel ain't going to go through her day with just a coffee this big. Now, uh, we really bought it just for making special coffees like Nespresso or ex Espressos or Cappuccinos, things like that. It can make standard cups of coffee, uh, but we really bought it for more of the specialty things. Yeah. Now, a couple things about the Nespresso machine before we really get into the whole review of it. The, what makes this different from the Keurig, or one of the things that makes it different, is it gives you a foamy top. Also, their pods are not made out of plastic. Right. They're made out of aluminum, and you can actually send them back in for recycling. So you don't have to worry about plastic or stuff with your coffee and also all of that plastic waste that comes with the Keurig machine. They're also non-negotiable on how much water you add to it because it already has like an assignment. Yes, so each one of the pods has a little barcode here on the bottom and when you put it in the machine, that tells the machine Number one, that it's a pod, and number two, how much water it's supposed to be using with the machine. One of the things about this is, is they don't allow other third-party companies to make like pods for the machine, which means you're stuck with whatever flavors they're selling on their website, or sometimes you can find them in Bed Bath & Beyond, or on Amazon. But you know you're gonna try to find a hack. Well, we've got some hacks here. so. Uh, after we go over the whole machine, we're gonna show you some of the options we found where you can use any brand coffee you want and save yourself some money. Because one of the things about these pods is they can be expensive and yeah. they don't tend to go on sale. And on average, they're gonna be between 90 cents to $1.50 per pod. And that's completely dependent on what flavor and also what size cup you're trying to brew. I still feel like that is nice to have the convenience of it in my home. I don't have to sit in a line or a drive-thru or go into a coffee shop to get this. And then also, I still think you're saving money because I've spent more than that on a shot of espresso in the past. Well, let's get into the machine itself. Then we'll get into these refillable options. So we're gonna try to do this so that you guys can see everything. So this is the basic machine. And again, this is the plus deluxe version. One of the things that makes it deluxe is this water tank on the back can move around. So you can see how you can have it on one side or the other or just in the back. And what that allows you to do is take up less counter space. Which I'm all about. Also, this particular one here is removable. So you can take it off and then go over to like our Berkey and fill it up with water and you don't have to be worried about using you know water from another sink or putting it in a pitcher bringing it over and kind of spilling it you could also make a fish tank the other thing that's nice about this is that when you eject the pod it automatically ejects the pod and it puts it into a container on the back and then they do supply you with these like recycle bags so you can just take this dump it in the bag and then ship it off for free through the post office and they recycle the pods i think that's super nice 
Now this particular machine has several different sizes and it has a removable drip tray right here. And you basically can move it up depending on, if I can see from the other side, how big your cup is. So if you're using like a small espresso cup, you can put it here or you can put it all the way down on the bottom. And you can also buy pods that will brew an entire craft. So you wanna go over how to use this? Yeah, okay. it's super easy. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We have a couple of pods here. Now, they have them for like a single shot, but whoever wants a single shot of espresso. Not this girl. Uh, they have double shot, they have like quadruple shots, and then now they we're talking. also have several different sizes for regular coffee. And what's cool is right on the front of their label, it does show you right here what size cup it's gonna make. Oh, nice. So, for example, this is their Stormio blend, and this is gonna make 7.7 .7 ounces. And this is the Ice Legro Double Shot Espresso, and this makes 2.7 ounces of espresso. So in addition to actually brewing these, we're also gonna try some different options so that you can use your own coffee and not have to spend a dollar or a dollar fifty per each one. I like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a lot of coffee and we're gonna drink it all. Sorry, <laughs> usually, we, I mean, this is all one coffee experience for the day, so That's I feel right. like it counts. Yeah, so you're gonna have the ultimate coffee experience. I'm ready. Because we're about to drink like three double shots of espresso. And then paint the house. Plus a couple of coffees. Okay, so you wanna start off with the espresso? Or yeah. Do you wanna, what, I'm thinking what we should do is probably compare espresso to espresso while everything is nice and hot. Yeah, absolutely. And then get into the coffee one. So we have this little cup here, and this is from a company called Cap Meso, I think is how you're gonna pronounce it. C-A-P-M-E-S-S-O. Okay, and what this is, is you get one of these little cups, and then you get a scoop, and you get these foil lids for the top of it, and I probably have it in one of the other ones. You also get a little brush, like this, to clean off the lid. How cute. Now the idea is that what you do is you fill this up with your espresso, and then you put a foil lid on the top, and then what you do is, you after you fill your coffee, you brush it off to make sure there's no coffee where you seal it, and then you can use this in the machine. It's got a heart on the side because I do love my coffee. Now, the other option that this company also has is one like this. Aww. Now, this is the same kind of a bottom, but instead of having these foil lids, it's got a little screw on top. Wow. And it has a silicone ring on there and you don't have to constantly put foil lids on the top of it. Huh. Now, a couple of drawbacks on this, and though we're gonna test it right now, is all of the reviews say that this one doesn't give you as nice of a foam top as the pods and these other foil lid ones do. Okay. Also, these will not work in the virtual line next models. Okay. If they will work in all the plus models, but not the next models. We're gonna leave a link for all of these down below. We are not sponsored by any of these companies or Nespresso. All of this we purchased with our own personal money. Doesn't it remind you of like a percolator, like on the stove? The little yes. thing that it has like, yeah. Well, one of the things that's interesting about Nespresso is nothing comes out the bottom. It goes, the water goes in the top and then comes out these little tiny holes here. And on the pods, it creates new holes. Also, this thing here comes with these little silicone rings so that as they go bad, they, they prevent it from like boiling over the top. So you okay. have to replace them every once in a while. And it comes with, I think, five, or you can also buy it with, for, with 10 of them. But from what I understand from the reviews, you get a long time with each one of them. So nice. you don't have to really worry about it too much. So let's go ahead and fill these up. So we're gonna make three little espressos. Three espressos. Okay, now, I purchased this on Amazon. This is espresso coffee. I also took the time to cut one of these open and empty it out and weigh how much espresso grounds are in how here. How cute are you? So that we know exactly how much goes in here. Okay. I actually forgot we have one more option. Oh. So this company here, it's called Aive. Aive. And basically what this is, is just these foil lids. And let me see how is it spelled? A-I-E-V-E. -E. So this came with 80 of those foil lids. Uh-huh. And it comes with a little scooper and a brush. And- This is an art project. 
It comes with a little stamp. Oh, it looks like the Redmond salt thing. Yeah, right? So the idea behind this package is what you're gonna do is you're gonna take an old pod. So after you're done, you take an old pod, you cut the foil, that foil right there, off the top. Okay. Clean it out, and then you can fill that with your own coffee. What? And put a new foil lid on. Oh my gosh, this feels like Mission Impossible, right? You're using somebody else's retina like as a contact lens over your own eyeball. <laughs> So we're actually going to make four espressos, except for I broke me. one of our glasses, so I'm going to have to go get another one. That's okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this. Now, I did weigh all of this out. Basically, this has about 10 grams of espresso coffee in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take each one of these. And ready them. And fill them up. And I did weigh it out they all basically will hold that 10 grams if you push it all in. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and fill each one up. Now I do like this little like stand cause it makes it a little bit easier. Easier to fill. You can buy these lids without the stand, but I would spend like the extra three or $4. Yeah, I would too. To get into the stand. Sturdies it. Also, um, you can buy new, new foil lids. So once you're all done, you can buy new foil lids. Without buying You don't have to again. buy the whole kit. So what they tell you to do is actually go ahead and put it in and then pat it down because again, you wanna have like a nice amount in there and it should be nice and compact. And then we'll go ahead and fill up the other ones as well. Now, if you wanna be precise, you can weigh it out, but I've already done this a couple times. So I know kind of in the pod how much to put to have that roughly 10 grams. Just the thought of coffee gets me excited. Like I can watch somebody else drink a cup of coffee and even if I just finished a cup of coffee, I'm like, I want that. I want that too. It's like a toddler behavior. Okay, let's do this. Let's pause for one minute while you kind of clean off the tops and I will go get another espresso cup. I changed brushes because this one makes me I like the bigger brush than it came More like with. a paleontologist. Okay, you ready? Yes. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put that lid on that one. Okay. And then I will take the refilled one and you take this little foil lid, kind of center it. So easy, even Rachel can do it. And then you just simply use your finger to press it down. And then I just kind of go around the edge as well. And but the question is, does it make as good of a cup as all right. the other ones? Now we're gonna compare them side by side. Right. The only thing is, is you really aren't going to be able to compare so much as taste. Yeah. Because this is obviously a different one. But maybe you like a different brand espresso other than what they're using. Right. It will, though, give you an idea of which one of these gives you the best flavor. Yeah. And you'll also be able to just, like, figure out, like, how strong is it? Is it as good as buying the actual pods? I think I can, I can like, be able to tell which one is stronger than the other. That's sort right. of thing. Okay. Don't use your teeth. Oh, I had it open on the other side. Oh, okay. Now, one thing to note, these foil lids are slightly bigger than these. So if you're gonna go with the one where you get the stainless steel cup and not wanna have to like open up your old ones, you gotta get these refills, but you can get them very, very cheap. Right. So to use this, all you do is you open it up, you put your pod in here, and then you close it. And I don't have an above camera right now, but there's a little round thing and it'll keep spinning. And when it stops spinning, that means that the water is hot and you're ready to go. And now all we have to do, we're gonna put this up here. We're gonna put this in here and we're gonna press the button. It's kind of like a, a Keurig. You have to wait until it's ready yes. and it's up. Ooh. Wow. Okay, so here is the actual one from the Nespresso. Now what you do is you just press the button like this, it automatically lifts, it drops the container into the back, and without burning my hand with hot coffee, here is your container. And you can see in here what it does is it shoots the water in the middle, and then it all percolates out the top like right Which there. Which you see all those little punctured holes already in this, this metal one. Right. Let's go ahead and do the one where we took the same pod and then put a foil lid on it. Still getting the same foam. Yeah, right out of the gate. Okay. 
It's in the contention here. Now yeah. again, this one here is filled with this particular espresso brand. I'll leave that over here. Okay, so let's put that one down here. I mean, it stands up to it. That, that it's foam It's got a line. nice foam. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and eject that pod and grab that pod there and put it right there. Next up is this guy. We're gonna go with the stainless steel one that we put a foil lid on. And we're gonna go ahead and press the brew button. Okay, we fooled it. That was what I was worried about, right? That it wasn't gonna fool it. Well, one of the things about these refillable ones, if you look on the bottom here, I'll put this up here, they have actually duplicated the barcode. Still getting a foamy top on this one. I am impressed. Again, to the naked eye, just looking at them, they're all putting out some good foam to start. Okay, so there's that one. And we'll go ahead and eject this. Now, one of the downsides of doing this is, especially if you're using these stainless steel ones, you're gonna have to constantly be taking this back off and getting your thing out. But you expected it to be cost effective, but more cleaning. Now, one thing I noticed, I probably didn't press it down enough or it was wet. This foil lid is starting to come off a little bit. Okay. Okay, and then finally, the one that has the reusable lid. So we'll go ahead and put that in here. Now this one again will not work on the next line. Now this one seems louder when we do it. See, the other one didn't make that Yeah, noise. this one's like a rowboat. Or not a rowboat, a motorboat. Um, this one is giving you a foam, but it looks like it may overflow. Uh-oh, rot row. Oh, you know what, we screwed up. We're gonna go ahead and, you ready? Yep. What'd you do? No edits here. It's gonna make a whole cup. I'm actually glad this happened. Okay. One of these things is not like the other ones. Okay, you ready to know what happened here? What happened? Okay, this is one of the issues with the reusable ones. Okay. Remember I talked about that barcode on the bottom? Yes. The barcode tells the machine what size cup you need to brew. Oh, did you buy two so, of these? One for littles and one for bigs? The reusable one that I bought with the reusable top, I only bought the eight ounce. I did oh. not buy the 2.7 ounce. Okay. So what that means is if, for example, you do want to brew both sizes, like okay. an eight ounce cup and a 2.7 ounce, you have to buy two different ones. So really we need to compare this with the to coffee. when we make the big coffee. Now, just to give you an idea, I do have one of those over here for the regular cup. Okay. So we can compare that one. So this one here, which looks the same as this one. Yeah, it does. But this one here is for an eight ounce cup and this one is for a 2.7 ounce oh, cup. Oh, okay. So that is just something that you have to be aware. If you're gonna make more than one size, you have to buy multiple reusable things unless you just go the route of pulling off the top. So let's go ahead and taste test these three different ones. Okay, so this still has a thick, unmoving top, right? Yep. So the foam here is still bubbling. It's kind of almost done here, still going a little bit here, but this thing ain't going nowhere. So I'm gonna try the original first. Now, one of the things on this one, again, I think that we didn't put the foil lid down all the way. Okay. Well, that'll mm. put some hair on your chest. Yeah, it will. I'm looking to, to have like a, a very furry tuft right here. This is Ooh. stronger, but I think it's a stronger espresso than what yes. you know, they give you. Yes, I mean, this is strong. And I would say it tastes the same. So these two, whether you use the one where you just reuse the pod or you get this one here, they taste the same. Yeah, it's just a little bit stronger than the Nespresso brand. So but again, that's because of we've got the brand this. Nespresso we so, have in there. So I think you, it came out, it's very smooth, it's very rich, it tastes delicious. It's just a little bit more forte. So I, if you, if you 
think that this is exactly perfect. Maybe you put a little bit less in there mm -hmm. than you would in That's, the normal. Again, as we say with a lot of review videos, you're gonna experiment. Taste is subjective. Personally, I like this better. Okay, now also again, just to note, it seems like the foam on the original one stays on better. This one is going. And the reason that is, I think, is because of the air. So this one here is really sealed well. And you can probably adjust that by how well you actually seal that foil lid onto the top and how tight you can get it. Whereas this one, it didn't stick very well. Now we have used this one before yeah. and we've had the good foam thing. So we probably just didn't press it down enough to get that good seal. But I mean, it's, you know, practice makes progress, right? So I think it would just be better every single time. Let's go ahead and we'll move these to the side. We'll clean up and we'll come back with the regular coffee. Okay, we cleaned everything up and now we're gonna go ahead and refill three different ones. So we've got a 7.7 .7 ounce one of these. So we're gonna fill that up with coffee and put a new foil lid on. We have one of the stainless steel ones and it says right there on the bottom, right there, eight, eight ounces. ounces. So we'll refill that and put a foil lid on the top. And Here's now we, the lid. And now we got this one right. This one is supposed to be for this size. And again, on the bottom, does this one indicate anywhere on here? No, no. it doesn't. So you'd have to remember or somehow mark on here what size this one is. This looks like a job for a Sharpie. So we're gonna go ahead and refill each one of these. Okay, we have them all refilled. Let's do this. Let's start a cup while we put the foil lids on top. And this is the regular coffee that comes from Nespresso. So this is a Stormio blend, 7.7 .7 ounces. We'll go ahead and put that in. And go. While we're doing this, just want to mention we are not actually using Dunkin' Donuts coffee. We just like the container. This is uh, the donut shop blend we get at Sam's Club. So it's pretty inexpensive. We just keep refilling this thing because it's a cool container. Plus everybody thinks we're drinking Dunkin' Donuts. Okay, we'll go ahead and put these on. So we're gonna take this lid right here and put it on here. It reminds me of putting stickers on Fisher Price toys. You still have to kind of get the sticker on just right. That's right. I like having more of an overlap personally. Right. Because I need some room for error because I will make errors. So we got that one done. Now we'll put this one on. And again, you have to really make sure you're getting it pressed down. One thing that's cool is they're all just foil lids. There's nothing special about the lids. So what you could do, like you're talking about having the overlap whereas these don't have an overlap. When you go to get refill ones, you could buy this one. Oh yeah. Because it's a little bit larger and then that would overlap around the edge because again, the key is not to get any air in there. Yeah. So I'm gonna make sure we're pressing it down nice and hard. And then this one's already got it's all one on just screwed on. So that is looking gorgeous. Put that over there. Look at that foam top that's on that thing. Absolutely beautiful. I expect that when we're making these, we're not gonna be super fresh for the day. We're gonna be like groggy. I need something that can work even if I'm like waking up in the dark. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take that one off. And we're gonna go with the refilled cup. Do we get a foam top? So far, so good. Yeah, it's coming along. It doesn't look quite as dark as this one, but let's wait till the end. It darkened up. It's not, it's maybe like a shade lighter. Yeah, now I don't know what blend coffee that is. Is like, is it a dark roast or a light roast yeah. or a medium roast? Okay, so we're gonna take that one here. You want to go ahead and do the reusable top. So what is this one now? This is the one with the reusable screw on top that has the O-ring. Oh, okay. Ooh, that is super light. Definitely not impressed with that one. Now no. again, this should look the same as this one. Does this one have the same amount of coffee as the other ones? I didn't weigh it out, uh -huh. but I packed it in to the very top. So you couldn't add any more coffee even, even if, if you, you wanted, wanted to. to. So there was no way to really make this stronger. Wow, that's a huge difference. One thing to note, 
there's not much of a foam top on it. No, there's not. I mean, it's there. And it's quickly going away, though. But again... Because, again, we're going to let these sit. Some people like weaker coffee, though. I will say that that was super easy to just put it in and screw the lid on. Okay, last one. This is the stainless steel that has the foil lid on the top. We'll go ahead and put that one in. Here's our glass. This one looks like tea. Yeah, that one definitely looks very, very weak compared to the other one right here that has that same donut blend coffee in it. But I'm also looking at the foam top between these two. Now this one obviously was brewed Perfect. first. There's got more of a foam top. It's holding up more. But most people would have already drank their coffee or had most of it by now. Yeah. Okay, so that one definitely is looking a little bit weaker. But it does have a nice foam top on it. And it's like a brownish color versus this one that was white right from the start. Okay. I, I'm them. gonna tell you without the taste test, I think the results are in. I mean, this one definitely looks the most like this one. Yep. Right? And we're gonna go check this out because here's the thing that we have with the other one and yeah. It keeps so coming up. The foil lid is coming off. You need and the overlap. What that means is that water is escaping out the side and that's why you're not getting the nice foam top and it's also why it's probably a little bit weaker. Okay, now's the taste test. Wow, I, gosh, I really wanted that one to work well because I feel like it's the easiest one to do, but maybe if you just, you would have to get so good at packing it. Well, let's start with this one. Yeah, because this, I'm not really wanting to compare flavor, I'm wanting to compare the look. Right. Because obviously it's a different coffee. Now, I do not like black coffee. That is weak. Now you can see, I couldn't add any more grounds into this. Yeah, that's weak. Weak. All right, up next. Oh, thank you ladies first for this weak. It's gotta be weaker than that. Curious what the inside of this one looks like. Oh, it's like tea. Yeah, so look at the difference. Wow, if you it's look like inside. It's dug out. It completely, it just squirts it all in. Oh, and it, and it tastes like it does that. It tastes like, almost like tea. It doesn't even taste like coffee, really. I'll go ahead and taste that one. Enjoy the stomach ache. Oh my gosh. That's Terrible. like water. Yeah. All okay. right, next up. Okay, I'm going back in. All right. I mean, again, it's black coffee, but I don't mind it. Okay, it's, that one's good. Yeah. So we pause the video for a second. Before you taste the last one, we're gonna taste that, but in an effort to really give an honest opinion, we took this one where you do the foil lid and I have refilled it and repacked it with coffee, but instead of using the foil lids that they give you, which are a little bit smaller, we're gonna use the one that you would actually just put over the top of like a reused actual pod. And the reason I wanna do that is because you can wrap it around the edge, the outside edge. That is really nice. Which should allow you to seal it a little bit better. But we're gonna go ahead and let that brew while we taste that last one. And then we can start talking about what we think of these different ones. Wow. Now this guy has been sitting here this whole time waiting for his chance to be tasted and he doesn't disappoint even now. Wait, one more. <laughs> that is good. That is good. Yeah, now that, that one's good. Now really I will good. say this one where we refilled was good the too. actual Nespresso cup was good and the foam is holding up on it. Yeah, it is, it's still there. Like as you can see, everybody else is tea. Now I am gonna say that looking at that, it does still look weaker than this one. Yeah, it does. And it doesn't have as much foam on the top. Man, I'm gonna have to be fishing out some old ones, aren't I? Okay. So I'll let you do that and let's go ahead and grab the piece. Okay, so this one did stay sealed. Which is good. And it does taste good, I will say. It tastes pretty good. It tastes, it tastes, I feel like, on par with that. Pretty close. Let me get another one. 
but the foam is going away on this one. Wait, I think I take that back. I like this one better. Yeah. Gosh, I'm gonna have to clean it out. Okay, so this, you can tell easily, they're about the same. Yeah. And there's no way that we could have packed, let me, let's peel off the lid here. Yeah, we packed a ton in there. We packed it, it in. It is hot. Like Rachel at the Brazilian Steakhouse. Okay, we packed so it yeah. In. So you can see we did pack it in all the way to the brim. So there was no way of adding any more coffee. God. Let's let's talk about these different ones and we can kind of get rid of these. Yeah. You no, ready? Nobody's gonna be drinking that. Okay. Right off the bat. We're not gonna get this one. No. It doesn't work. No, it doesn't work right. These are okay. Yeah. I wanted these to work the best. But honestly, if you're looking to get just refillable pods, if you wanna refill pods, it looks like your best bet is to actually, is refill gonna the actually pods. take some the pods that you have and refill them. Now there's actually a good thing about that. Okay. okay, let's go over the prices. I have all the prices right here of what we paid. Because basically for this, all you need is the sticker. Right. Okay. So this right here is $27. If you want two different sizes, like if you want two and a 0.7 ounce espresso. That'd be times two. And you want the eight ounce, you got to buy two of them, one in each size, and they're not labeled. So $27, but then you never have to buy anything again. That's true, okay? but it's weak. But it doesn't work. So <laughs> we're going to toss that one it's to the cheap side. and it doesn't work. That one will be going back to Amazon. Yeah. Okay, then you have this, which is just the lids. Yeah. Okay, and you're going to take these here, and you're just going to clean it out and put new lids on it. This set costs $19. So that means your first, and it came with 80 lids, so your first 80 lids are gonna cost you 24 cents a cup of coffee. All right. After that, new foils work out to be 11 cents. Oh, nice, because you don't have to buy the little wood thing again. Right, so you just keep buying more of the, the foil tops, and they work out to be about 11 cents per foil lid. And I actually think you'll be glad you have the wooden thing because we use the wooden thing to fill all the other ones. I like the wooden thing because it makes yeah. it nice and sturdy. Also, it comes with a bigger scoop and it comes with a nicer brush. For dinosaur. Okay. Now, the other big benefit about doing it this way, you don't have multiple things. You could buy multiple size original Nespresso's and just save one or two of each one of yeah. them, and then you have them. Also, you can prepare a bunch of pods ahead of time. That's nice. So, for example, you and I each drink an espresso a day. We can have two or three or four of the original Nespresso lids and just, or the, the pods themselves. Right. Refill them and have them stored away, ready to go. You don't have to redo every single time you need to pop, make a cup of coffee. Would you put them in the refrigerator? No, you can put them right in your thing. You, so in other words, basically pre-prepared three, the four, night before. even 10 of them. Okay. But doing it like with this or with this, if I want to make you one, I've got to pack it, clean brew it, it clean it out, dry it, Put it back on, and then so it's not quick and easy. Two cups in the morning, right? And if the we, first cup will be easy, but not the second cup. Well, and so if we're drinking it together, one of us is drinking cold coffee, right? So poor Joe, right? <laughs> because we know who's getting that. Okay, let's get into this one, the Campresso with the fifty lids. The price was nineteen dollars, which makes your first fifty cups thirty-eight cents a cup. But then the new foil lids are between 11 and 13 cents for each one. But those are the ones that were really too small. Yeah, those are the ones that just fit and the lid kept coming up and you can't put as much coffee in here. And so those work out. The problem is, once again, you've got the barcode on the bottom. So if you want two different sizes, you've got to buy two different cups. But at least it tells you what size it, it is. This one does tell you yeah. what's on the bottom. And then also I wanted to mention... This can of espresso, of espresso costs us $5.25. If you go buy how much they're putting in their yeah. little cups, 
They have 10 grams for each one of these little pieces for the 2.7 ounce one. Yeah. That means you're going to get about 28 servings in here. Okay, because there are for five there's, bucks. There's ten ounces in here, two hundred and eighty-three grams. That means that to make a double shot of espresso, it's two cents for the espresso, and then eleven cents for the foil lid. Versus. So that's thirteen cents per pod versus a dollar to a dollar twenty, depending on what flavor you get. That'll add up and go in my ribeye budget. So after all of that. We'll probably keep these for emergencies, but moving forward, it has to be going, an actual emergency. I'm going with this right here. Yeah. And this is what we're going to recommend. I will leave a link for it down below, the exact one we bought. You can, again, buy it without the brush and without like the little stand. I wouldn't. I would, the first I would get time. your first one with the yeah. brush and the stand. I think it makes it a little bit easier. I personally would not, I definitely would not invest in this. And I just don't think that these. Make a good cup of coffee, and plus you have to have multiple ones for multiple sizes. Well, and just think about trying to load this without the wooden stand. This is not a flat bottom thing. Right. I have a feeling I'm going to chase this all around my kitchen counter. And spill it. And have spill all over and start my day out ticked off. Now, one thing I would say, because like I've got a bunch of coffee grounds here that we have to clean up now. Probably the best thing to do is put it in the stand and actually fill it. Like over this over hand. your coffee I feel grounds. it over the sink Just or the way garbage you can. have that. But anyway, I think that the little stand is worth it. Again, I personally would not get these. You need multiple of them. Wow. This is great. And yes, it's a pain to peel the foil lid off. But if you save, instead of recycling them and sending them back to the company, right. save three or four of recycle each size yourself. that you're going to do and recycle them yourself. And then you can use any kind of coffee you want. Now, overall, for the Nespresso, and again, I know this is a long video, we are super happy with the Nespresso machine. I love machine. it. I think it makes a great cup of coffee. I think it works really well. Um, the biggest downside is if you're buying the original pods, they can be a bit pricey. But as you said earlier, it's still cheaper than going to Starbucks. It's still cheaper than going to Dunkin' Donuts. And the only different, the other difference is it's not like a K-cup where you could just put any other like Aldi brand coffee in this machine. Like you have to go, you know, the Nespresso route. There's not a lot of coffee options as far as flavors. Unless you do what we're doing right here. Well, that is going to be today's video. Let us know down in the comment section. Do you have an espresso machine? Have you been thinking about getting one? What's your favorite flavor? Was the fact that you didn't know if you were going to be able to refill pods one of the things that was stopping you from getting it? And now that you know that you can reuse their pods with new foil lids, does that change your mind as to purchasing an espresso machine? Let us know down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm going to put right over there. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we talk coffee, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.